Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Now, as you fellow noobs may or may not know, Line 6 put out new firmware for the Helix last week, version 3.70. Now, as is often the case, a lot of the new guys, they have no idea what a firmware update is. They don't even know what firmware is. You know, all that stuff, that sounds like computer mumbo jumbo and you are not a computer guy. You're a musician. Your new Helix sounds great as it is, and you will never get a chance to try all of the features that it already has. So what good is a firmware update gonna do you? Well, I've said this before in Fractal videos, and now I'll say it here in Helix videos. If you don't see any need for doing the firmware update, you don't have to. There is no reason that you absolutely must do a firmware update. If you are happy with your machine as it is, leave it as it is. And then someday if you get curious, then take a look into the whole firmware thing. But for right now, just enjoy your Helix. That is not a problem. Now for the rest of you guys that are interested in this but have never tried it before, Line 6 really does try to make it as painless as possible. Now I'm gonna make the assumption that you've already taken your Helix and connected it to a computer with the USB cable. Maybe you've already downloaded and installed HX Edit which is the editor for the Helix and the HX units. If not, you need to go to line6.com forward slash software, and I'll have a link in the description. Once there, you'll find three drop-down menus. The first says choose hardware. I selected Helix. I left choose software alone because I want to see all of the available choices. The third box is choose OS. I have an M1 Mac Mini, so I chose Mac OS X and then clicked on Go. Now from the choices, I chose Helix slash HX 3.70, the original app update. That's the firmware. I also downloaded HX Edit, and I also downloaded Line 6 Central. Next, I went back to the top of the page and clicked on Support. Next, I chose Manuals. Then I clicked on Effects. I chose Helix and downloaded the Helix 3.0 Owner's Manual and the HX Edit Pilot's Guide 3.70. Now you should install HX Edit and the Line 6 Central apps. Hopefully you've installed an app or two, but if not, basically just double click the file that you downloaded and follow the instructions. Okay, now open the Line 6 Installer app. After a few seconds, you should get a screen that shows your Helix or HX device, along with the current firmware version that's installed. There should also be a message that tells you that an update is available. It should also give you the option to look at the release notes. It really is a good idea to read through the release notes because it gives you all of the necessary instructions to proceed. But seriously, here's what happens. First thing, if you've created any presets, you'll want to do a backup. Close the Line 6 Installer app and open HX Edit. Click on File, then click on Create Backup. Follow those steps then close HX Edit and reopen the Line 6 installer. Now you'll start the update and your Helix or HX will tell you that it's gathering necessary information to continue with the update. After a few minutes of that, the update will start and you'll see a progress bar. Now this part takes at least five minutes. Once the update is done, it will rebuild the factory presets. That also takes at least five minutes. So yeah, this whole process can last upwards of a half hour depending on how fast or slow your computer is. One last step. In order to get the new presets, you'll need to do a factory reset. The release notes tell you the necessary steps, depending on your Helix or HX unit. For the Helix, you would turn it off, then hold down the two middle foot switches on the bottom row and turn it on. You can release the foot switches once you get a message stating that the factory reset is underway. Let that process finish before trying anything else. Now, in case you did create some presets or change some global settings that you'd like to have back on your unit, you'll need to do a restore. Close the installer app and reopen HX Edit. Click on File, then select Restore from Backup. A panel opens up showing you the backups that you've made. Select the most recent one, then in the bottom panel, deselect everything except for global settings if you've made changes there, and presets if you've created some presets that you'd like to get back. Click on the triangle next to Presets and deselect Factory 1 and 2 so that only the User 1 through User 5 options are selected. Now click Restore Backup. 
HX Edit will ask you, are you sure? Click on yes to proceed. You'll see a progress circle letting you know what is happening. You'll get a message letting you know when the process has completed. Now you should take a look at your user libraries to make sure they got populated. That's it guys, you are done with your first Helix firmware update. Now you really should check out the new stuff that got added. There's 10 new amps, 9 new cabs, and 5 new effects. Now we'll be doing a building your first preset video here in a little while, so we'll be going over the new stuff then too. Let me leave you with a little demo that I made using some of the new stuff. Next Wednesday, we are going to be doing an aliasing test on the Tone Master Pro by special request. And while we're at it, we'll probably add the FM9, the Helix, and the Tonex pedal. Now, you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Buy lots of new stuff. It's Black Friday, and I will see you next week.